What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, there's a false narrative going around. False information, misread information, or dare I say, misleading information that's circling amongst the boxing world. And that's that Devin Haney is looking to have his loss overturned to a win in his showdown that took place April 20th against Ryan Garcia. Now, Ryan Garcia dropped Devin Haney three times and he won a split decision, majority decision. Ryan Garcia came in 3.2 pounds overweight. The contractually obligated agreement was to come in at 140 for the WBC junior welterweight title. But Ryan Garcia, after admitting publicly that he had no intentions of coming in at 140 pounds, and he had all intentions to come in nothing under 143 pounds, and 11 hours before the fight, Ryan Garcia was 15 pounds well, 11 hours before the weigh-in, Ryan Garcia was 15 pounds above the weight. He was 155 pounds 11 hours before the weigh-in. He got down to 143.2, and he decided that he would just pay the fine and not for the fight for the title. Then Ryan Garcia tested positive for two banned substances, Nandrolone and Oshini. The Nandrolone has since been unconfirmed, which means that it wasn't negative, it wasn't positive, it's just in limbo, it's unconfirmed. The Ostronine is positive to confirm positive tests with the Ostronine, and he has to Monday, April, May 22nd, with his B sample, which he expects it to come back positive. So Devin Haney feels slighted, he feels cheated, and he feels done wrong. And Devin Haney is being victim shamed in this situation. And Devin Haney filed a suit to the New York State Boxing Athletic Commission and stated that he wants justice served. Now, his lawyers sent the New York State Boxing Athletic Commission a letter, a suit, and in the suit, it stated that the rule book states that if this is considered a disqualification because Ryan Garcia came in 3.2 pounds overweight, which is against the rules. Now, Devin Haney agreed to take the fight anyway, and the penalty he paid, Ryan Garcia paid $500,000 per pound, and he came in 3.2 pounds over, so he had to pay Devin Haney 1.5. So Devin Haney agreed to that, right? They came to an agreement. But he tested positive for ashenine, which is a banned substance. So the lawyer is stating that due to the rule book, if this is ruled a disqualification, Devin Haney would be awarded a win instead of a loss. Ryan Garcia would be awarded another loss, the second loss of his career, and the win would be removed from his record. But ultimately, Devin Haney is seeking out that he has the fight ruled a no contest, which means the loss is removed off of his record, his resume, and the win is removed off of Ryan Garcia's resume. Now, it's being stated that Devin Haney is looking for it to be ruled a no contest, which is not true. He's not asking for it to be ruled a, a disqualification or no contest. He's just asking that Ryan Garcia be punished for his actions. Whatever um, decision and discipline the New York State Boxing Athletic Commission comes up with is their decision. He's not asking for a specific way for it to go either which way. He just want justice to be served. But it's being stated as if he's specifically looking to have it ruled a disqualification. Right, So the lawyer is putting this in 
to them to let the boxing commission know that they are aware of the rules and they are aware of each decision, whether it be no contest, whether it be a uh, uh, disqualification, whatever it may be, just to make them aware that this is illegal, what Ryan Garcia did, period. So Devin Haney is not seeking out a disqualification specifically to have a win added to his resume. That's not what he's looking to do. Okay, and people didn't pay attention, they did not read, and they didn't understand. And they jumped to conclusions to make it seem like Devin Haney is just looking to add a cheap victory to his resume. And that's not what he's looking to do, period. He's looking for it to be ruled in the favor of justice in his favor, regardless if that is due to um, uh, 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 regardless if that's due to it, regardless if the decision is disqualification, uh, uh, no contest, whatever, he just wants justice to be served. Period. That's it. That's all. He's not asking for it to be ruled a uh, disqualification so that way he can get a win on his record. That's a lie. Okay. Period. So that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon and get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.